Welcome to Electric Car Cafe at Evolution and we're back with a Land Cruiser but before we get into this please drop a like and hit that subscribe button that really helps us helps with the algorithm helps us being found ultimately encourages us to do more videos like this and the vehicles that are growing over my shoulder as well so let's get into it the first thing to say is that it's running but it's not finished we're in a really good spot the uh, vehicles have really come on in the, in the last few weeks and we're really happy with the progress, as is the customer as well, obviously. Essentially, the, the high voltage system is now in and running. Uh, so that means the batteries are in and plumbed. That means we've got water cooling in there as well. We've got the battery management system monitoring the batteries. And we've got the motor now turning and driving. We had a first drive, I think, a few days ago. So actually, so it's pretty fresh. We've also uh, configured the charger and the DC to DC now. So we're able to charge it from a charger such as the Zappi. It's also able to keep um, the, the 12 volt battery topped up as well. Uh, the battery incidentally has come from uh, Jack's tyres, so we're incredibly uh, grateful for them for supporting these videos. Again, that's another reason to subscribe and like. It helps us do all this uh, and bring this kind of content to you as well. That, bit, that being said, it has been quite a challenge over the last few weeks. This is, after all, the first electric Land Cruiser in Australia. There's no manuals or um, guides for this kind of stuff, uh, and the packaging in particular has been has been pretty tricky to say the least. But obviously, we got faith uh, in each other, in the team here at Electric Car Cafe, uh, and the guys have done an awesome job. The quality of, of the work is absolutely outstanding, uh, and the packaging is absolutely on point. Interestingly, with the battery, obviously, that's all. Uh, been designed and fabricated in-house. We've not reached out to anyone for that. It's all done here in Clayton. And the design has been such that we've got those awesome Tesla cells wrapped in uh, the Clayton South Electric Car Cafe designed enclosure together with a, a Tesla-style penthouse with all the switch gear in, inside of it, all the wiring and sensors routed correctly and, and looking schmick under the bonnet. So part of the enjoyment of this is obviously driving it, but the other enjoyment is lifting the bonnet and seeing a quality job, as, as I'm sure you'll agree very well, and it'll obviously be reliable for many years to come. Let's have a look around, and uh, we'll show you through the, uh, the features and, and the details of, of, of the vehicle, and then we'll go for a drive, obviously. So we've got the battery box underneath here. Um, six Tesla cells, uh, all in series uh, for around 150 volts. Uh, we've got two uh, chargers over the over the on the corner there, uh, giving us around seven kilowatts all up. DC to DC, and the motor controller here as well, whirring away. It's actually running now. Would you believe? Can you believe how quiet it is? Uh, and then in the back, we've got uh, the penthouse and the, the PDM and all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, so it's all pretty neat under here now. I guess the interesting thing is obviously from this point of view is we've got high voltage uh, at one end of the, of, of the pack and water flowing at the, at the other end. So water and electricity mix well, right? Uh, so we're obviously being careful to keep the two separate, uh, but obviously keep everything um, running efficiently as well at the same time. Obviously the seats are in now permanently, heated seats, switches on the, on the custom dashboard there. Proud of, we've got three uh, switches there for the heated seats, uh, and then also the uh, smart gauge for the motor, which shows, again, the battery state of charge, and then also the, the, the speedo as well, and how many kilometers the motor's done. We've also relocated the enormous 12 volt battery from the front to under the, under the passenger seat here, sorry, driver's seat here. Uh, so that's an Invicta battery from Jack's tyres, very, uh, very much appreciate the support, like I said. Um, we've also got all the, dash all the dashboard repurposed now, so the fuel gauge is now the electron gauge. It shows in instantly what, how much power you've got left or how much range you've got left. Uh, and then the temperature gauge is the, um, is the temperature of the controller. So it's all useful information. The other thing we've got it now, we've got electric power steering, which 
is just awesome. It's just, it's, it's so, so good uh, in terms of its efficiency, in terms of power, but also its feel. Uh, and it really makes this vehicle into a much more of a usable daily drive vehicle, whereas before it just kind of wasn't. Um, in addition, we've got power brakes now. We did have the disc breaker grade prior to the conversion, but now we've got uh, a, a vacuum booster kit on there as well. So it really does stop on a six months, which is obviously, again, makes it much more livable and easy to drive, which is the whole point of these vehicles, right? Uh, so yeah, look, let's go for a drive and let's put it through its paces. <coughs>